Good afternoon. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we set our sides aside in these moments before your presence to commemorate the lives of these, our friends and family. We ask you for a continued comfort in this time of loss. 
May the good memories of our loved ones who have gone before us serve to inspire us here to a better life in your sight and before our fellow family members and friends. We ask this through Christ our Lord. As I sit in heaven, as I sit in heaven and watch you every day, I try to let you know the signs I never went away. I hear you when you're laughing and watch you when you sleep. I even place my arms around you to calm you as you weep. As I see you wish the days away, begging to have me home, so I try to send you signs so you know you're not alone. Don't feel guilty that you have life that was denied to me. Heaven is truly beautiful. Just wait and see. So live your life and laugh again and enjoy yourself to be free. Then I know with every breath you take, you'll be taking one for me. When tomorrow starts without me. When tomorrow starts without me, and I'm not here to see if the sun should rise and fill your eyes with tears for me, I wish you would so much you wouldn't cry the way you did today while thinking of the many things we didn't get to say. I know how much you love me as much as I love you. And each time you think of me, I know you'll miss me too. But when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel came and called my name and took me by the hand. The angel said my place was ready in heaven far above and that I'd have to leave behind all those I dearly love. But when I walked through heaven's gate, I didn't feel alone, for God looked down and smiled at me and told me, welcome home. He said, this is eternity and all I've promised you. Today your life on earth is past, but here it starts anew. I promise no tomorrow, for today will always last. And since each day is the same, there's no longing for the past. So when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. For every time you think of me, I'm right here in your heart. How many of you are here because you have lost someone special and want to celebrate and honor their memory today? So, we all have something in common. We all love deeply and hurt deeply because our loved one is no longer here with us in the way to which we had grown accustomed. We are all here today because we believe that life is more than this flimsy skin and bones. We are all here because we believe that love extends beyond this physical being. We want today to reconstruct, to remember those who are no longer with us in their bodies. As we are present with each other today, we can find the inner strength that comes when we share something deep and meaningful and tender with others who are going through similar pain. In case you did not already know it, the emotions that come with you when somebody you love dies are not always recognizable as grief. Sometimes you feel disbelief. You may find yourself still looking for your loved one, and sometimes even see him or her in a crowd or hear their wonderful voice. Sometimes you feel irritated, depressed, or guilty. Sometimes you feel numb or even like you might be going crazy. Sometimes you may even feel hatred, betrayal, or a sense of abandonment. Grief is like a tidal wave that picks you up and tosses you around and bumps you into unidentifiable surfaces and then cast you out onto an unfamiliar beach, devastated. And just when you think you might be recovering, the wave sweeps over you repeatedly and again. Sometimes you think that no one in the entire world could ever have felt this kind of agony. And yet, we are all here today, together, because we have all loved and lost and are suffering from it. And that means we are not alone. 
So whatever you are feeling right now, just notice it and allow it to be. You have been through a lot. Love is all around us in the disguise of all these feelings. All these feelings you are having since your loved one died or because you loved so deeply. Today, let us recognize that we do not hurt alone. We can allow ourselves time to share memories and tears with others who also know how, how to love and how it hurts. And we can cling to the assurance that as we remember our loved ones, by stating again how they lived and changed our lives, just by being them, death will not have the final word. Shall we pray? We thank you, God, for your loving trust in us. In creation, you first clothed us in dignity, called us not things, but children, and said that we were exceptionally good. And you love us and promise never to leave us or to disown us. Today in our frailty, sadness, and groping in this darkness, in doubt, in love, in feeble hope, we stand in your presence, not lifted from what is human, but as we truly are, the work of your loving hands. We stand, God, touched and frail, yet possessing the dignity that your acceptance of us and presence with us gives to us. Give courage and faith to us in our sadness, that we may have strength to meet the days ahead and the comfort of a reasonable, holy, and joyful hope of eternal reunion with those we love. Help us, we pray, during the sting of brokenness and death, to believe and trust in your loving presence and forgiveness, in the goodness of true fellowship of others who believe, and a new life that springs from death. We pray for these things in adoration, gratitude, and awe. Amen. 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 When your loved one's name is announced, or if you'd like us to bring it to you, uh, please come forward or we'll assist you to receive the candle of your loved one. Mary and Asti. Mary Abba. Lauren Bauman. Monroe P. Bracken. Diane Pucheri. Jack Carr Barbara Charles Judith Crosby Stella Eads, Donald Fallhaber, Jim.
Cheryl Fisher. Elva Frick. Barbara Gall. <coughs> Catherine Gresney. Kitsy Hirsch. Mary Homenchenko. Jean Hunter. Edwin Jassic. John Eric Johnson. Gloria Jones. Doris Craw. Shirley Lewis. Donna Lilly. Billy Markham. Christina Marshall. Edwin Mestia. Mary Jane Reed.
William Shields. Linda Shirey. Carl Spat. Albert George Statmuller. Patricia Bai. Rita Ware. Patricia Weiser. Frank Weiser. Jason Weirich. Harry Zadunsky. Anthony Zona. Last but not least, Tracy Moore. I know, for those of you that know the story, 
I loved my mother, but I felt like saying, who the hell's Rosie? <laughs> I said, Rosie who? She said, it's not a person. It's Rosie there. So when you leave here, you have to honestly believe that where your loved one is, it's Rosie there. Let us pray. Father God, truly you are the hope of life. We acknowledge your providence and care in the lives of these, our loved ones. We thank you for letting us be near them and to know them all of our lives. We thank you for their lives. And we now commit them into your loving hands. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.